Hi everyone, Dr. Jeff Bannis here, and today I'm going to talk about amino acids. If you're doing triathlons or uh, marathons or bodybuilding, you've probably noticed that a lot of the goos and um, uh, protein bars and all this stuff out there are starting to put amino acids in a lot of their products. Uh, and maybe these products uh, cost a little bit more money because they have amino acids in them. And I'm, today I'm going to talk a little bit uh, about uh, the amino acids and how they could actually help your performance or are they just a complete waste of money. What I'm not going to talk about is how the amino acids are typically called the building block, blocks of protein. So let's get right into it. Um, first, a little bit quick about me. My name is Dr. Jeff Bannis. I'm a chiropractic sports physician and weight loss and endurance coach. And I've done eight Ironman triathlons, a bunch of marathons. So I do have a little experience with this stuff. So let's get down to the meat and potatoes here and uh, find out if these things could actually help you out. Okay, what do amino acids actually do and how they can improve performance? Uh, I'm going to go in through, uh, talk about a couple of the specific amino acids and how they could relate to performance. Phenylalanine is an amino acid that has pain-killing properties and, and, and also has an antidepressant effect. Okay, so when you're racing, when you're running, when you're out there biking, would it help a little bit to have so, uh, like a pain-killing or antidepressant effect? I, I think it would. This basically means you could be happier and feeling less pain, whether doing those killer hill, hill workouts or biking those endless miles or running those endless miles. Um, now, we talk about valine, isoleucine, and leucine. These amino acids could reduce the amount of damage due to muscles. So basically... If you're, you have a high quality amino acid in, in your in your system, uh, you could possibly your muscles can recover faster. They could re, re, uh, uh, heal faster, recover faster. So that kind of means you could be actually train harder, and actually more often if you're able to recover faster. So would training harder and recovering faster possibly help you? I think so. Uh, serotonin is a neurotransmitter that can reduce pain. And the amino acid tryptophan is a precursor to serotonin. That means by taking the amino acid tryptophan could actually increase your tolerance to pain. Therefore, this means you could actually push yourself a little bit harder, again, in training and in race day. So you think about going into the pain cave. Everybody says dig deep into that pain cave and push yourself through it. You could possibly push yourself deeper into that pain cave, pull yourself out of it if you had tryptophan in your system. Okay, now, amino acids could also help fight uh, free radical damage. Or um, this is now this is not going to necessarily um, necessarily help you. Exp let's say be faster at that sport, but it's going to actually help your body uh, heal a little bit better. Okay, now arginine. Arginine is a vasodilator, which basically means it increases blood flow. Now, there's no real studies that have shown that it, that arginine is actually going to increase performance. But, hey, the more oxygen you get to your muscles throughout your body, I'd take that any day over uh, less, less blood flow. So are they worth the money? Are amino acids worth the money? Well, let's say this. Amino acids will allow you to push through the pain. They'll allow your muscles to recover faster. And they affect neurotransmitters that make you feel better. So could you have used any of that in your last training day or your last event? I think so. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about briefly about my experience. I started using amino acids a few years back when I was doing the Ironman triathlon. And I did a, a few Ironman triathlons uh, before I started units in amino acids. But then I came across the amino acids and did the research. And all this stuff that I always talk about, I always try myself first. Um, and I suggest you do field tests, which I'll talk about in a minute. But my initial time uh, using the amino acids, um, I was doing an Ironman triathlon, which is a two and a half mile swim, 112 mile bike, followed by the marathon. And I loaded up on the amino acids a couple weeks before, and then I took a bunch of the amino acids uh, before the race began, and then I took them throughout the, the bike. And I remember being about mile 80 miles on the bike. So I've been on the bike for five hours or so, and I actually was feeling good. I felt I still felt like I was racing. I was happy. I was still trying to push my speed. And all the other Ironmans that I did before this event, 
I really noticed that, I, I, hey, mile 80, I was hating my bike. I wanted to throw the thing off. I would wish my bike would just break apart so I could stop. So I, the amino acids, in my opinion, really helped me with that race. Um, and ever since that race, I've done, um, I've recommended amino acids. Uh, so I, I, it, I, the, the amino acids I'll recommend, I'll keep in the comment section. I'll put a link there so you can um, check out those amino acids that I take and that I recommend to my athletes. But, the, you know, you're going to hear a lot of different reviews on the stuff. I'm just saying, hey, I'm doing everything I can to get myself through those races, through those Ironman races. Uh, you might not notice a, a lot of difference in amino acids if you take amino acids and you're doing a really short event. When you're pushing something like, you know, like the Ironman here, and you've already swam for about an hour, then you've been on the bikes for, you know, four or five hours, or you're five, six hours into an event, um, pushing yourself deep into the pain cave, feeling better, you'll notice that stuff. Now, just going to the gym and working out for an hour, you might not necessarily notice any effects um, from the amino acids, even though they, they, they can have an effect. So what I suggest you do is get yourself some quality amino acids. Again, with these amino acids, just like any supplements, you get what you pay for. Um, if you're buying your amino acids uh, cheap in bulk at a Costco or someplace like that, uh, they're probably not a very high quality. I'll, like I said, I'll keep in the comment section um, a link to the ones I suggest so you could check them out. But field test this. So if you're going to go for a long run, uh, you know, load up on amino you know, acids a couple days before and then use them during the race and compare that to some of the training days, races that you didn't, um, where you didn't have in your system. So with everybody, everybody's going to be a little different, but I'm a big fan of field testing this stuff uh, and test it out. Uh, if you want any more information about me, you can contact me through my website regarding any type of information you have about this uh, webcast or any of the coaching information I have. So I hope that helps.